After Clockwork Orange was released, it was crazy time. You have to remember that I was 15 and 16 when that movie was being made. I was at school, supposed to be studying for exams, and I would come home from school and visit the set. Um, I, felt, I think I fell in love with the sound man too. Um, and so I was, you know, I was always around. It was part of my life. Malcolm McDowell came to the house all the time, had dinner. He had one of our Golden Retriever puppies. They were family. And then when the film came out and everybody was making such a fuss about it, I couldn't really understand why, because it was, it was a very, very powerful film. I knew that and I knew it had a lot to say. Um, but I wasn't shocked by it because I wasn't, I suppose, able to, to divorce myself from how avant-garde it was at the time, and still is. I think I'm probably more receptive to its, to its message now that I'm older than I was when it came out, because when it came out it was almost like just, you know, this is what we've been doing for two years and now it's on the screen and everybody's going to see it and isn't it great? But after, there was such a huge backlash, and I mean, at the time, Britain was going through some weird stuff. And the press just decided that they were going to lump it in with a lot of other movies that were violent. And um, there was Mary Whitehouse and her campaign and Lord Longford and all these people. So there were all these campaigners trying to pin the social problems of England onto one or two films, Straw Dogs, Clockwork Orange, um, there were probably some others as well, but those two always came up time and time again, which was really frustrating. And then, um, you know, there were reporters sitting outside the gate and at one stage we were driven to school because people were really getting very unpleasant and nasty and um, sent Daddy a ticking parcel which turned out to be from a fan but it was a clockwork it was literally a clockwork orange but it was ticking inside the package and we thought ooh um, <laughs> which was a bit scary and I didn't know this and I wasn't told until much later but he was actually receiving death threats from quite big organizations and the police said look you really should take this very seriously we don't think these people are messing about and the film had re had finished its normal run really it had been playing for a year um, and he just decided he couldn't you know that it was too much hassle and too worrying and too frightening and there were all these loopy people out there who wanted to to hurt him and us so he just asked Warner Brothers if they wouldn't mind you know taking it off the screens in, in Britain and so that's what happened.